Terrence Bud Crawford and Chris Eubanks Jr. What the hell did you just say? What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV, man. If man, 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 if you don't get your big goofy ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy to help the channel. You know, I appreciate that love. Shout out to gang, the bag hitters, man. Truly appreciate that love for sure. Now, look, turns Bud Crawford, Chris Eubanks Jr. out of nowhere, like out of out of out of out of nowhere. Hey, bro, come now, on now, dog. Listen. Chris Eubanks Jr. won't own nobody's radar at no damn, especially Bud Crawford. There has been no rumblings. Nobody was calling for this. Um, and I believe Bud Crawford 100% now when he said, listen, I feel like I deserve to do whatever the hell I want to do. This is the definition of doing whatever the hell you want to do if Man, this fight were to happen false. next. Now, Chris Eubank took to his Instagram to put... Uh, to throw up this right here to indicate to us that hey there's some truth behind this uh according to reports they're trying to uh come to some sort of, of agreement on uh a date in a venue uh so this could very well be next for bud crawford but what does this mean what does it mean because you can't tell me that Canelo Alvarez would be paying attention to you because ultimately that's the fight he wants. But will Canelo Alvarez be paying attention to you if you can manage to beat up uh, the 34-year-old, 160-pound uh, uh, Chris Eubanks Jr.? Hey, he bro, come on now, dog. Really done absolutely nothing in the sport of boxing. Um, he's pretty much lived off his father's name. Um, when you think about legacy, I mean, unless you looking at the loss to George Groves other than that what has Chris Eubanks Jr. done in the sport of boxing and he's definitely not made a big impact over here in the States I don't think the casual boxing fan in the United States knows who the hell Chris ba Eubank Jr. is right now it could be I think it could be a potentially a big fight in the UK you know what I mean that would involve Bud Crawford traveling to the UK to fight uh, Chris Eubanks Jr. He does have a a, a, a solid uh, fan base over there, and you couple that with um, the newfound fame that Bud Crawford has. Uh, I believe no longer being that uh, a name that a lot of casual fans didn't know. Um, the clout he's garnered over his huge win um, against Earl Spence Jr. I think has catapulted him to the next level. Um, I don't think it matters who he fights now. I think that that fight does really, really decent numbers um, enough for him to garner a certain amount of money, uh, you know, a really decent payday. Um, this would have to be just a money grab, um, you know, and to kind of get his feet wet at 160 pounds, in, in my opinion. Uh, but here's my, my thing is go ahead and let them belts go, bud. You know what I'm saying? If, you know, if you're going to fight at 160, I don't think, and, and you know, the ultimate goal is Canelo Alvarez, and you're going to start messing with those big guys up there. There's nobody left at 47 for you. I don't think Keith Thurman comes back down, especially if by the grace of the boxing gods, he can get past, uh, 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 if he could get past Tim Zhu. Hey, I think bro, if he come loses on now, dog. in a one-sided ass whooping or knockout to Tim Zhu, he may go back down to 47. But if somehow he wins, he's gone. Uh, you don't want to fight Boots because nobody wants to put up that money. You know, the, the kind of money you want to fight Boots, the, the return ain't there, even though that's the real fight that the fans want to see. And I get it. You know, if you pay attention to the sport of boxing, you understand the business side a little bit. I'm not asking you to understand all of the ins and outs of the business of boxing, but you have to understand that the paydays that Bud Crawford is commanding now, a lot like these other uh, um, top tier fighters in the sport of boxing, they can't they can't recoup that versus somebody like a, 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 a Boots Ennis, and that's why he's not getting any offers to fight Boots. You know, uh, that, that's why that can't be done. Uh, he would have to be willing to take a lot less than what he really wants. 
in order to make that fight. And at 36 years old, I just don't see that happening. But for somebody like a Chris Eubanks, who does have a decent name uh, overseas, and if Bud's willing to go over there, then I can see that fight happening. Um, I can see him snatching a nice bag uh, for fighting Chris Eubanks Jr. over in the UK. Uh, but I think the problem lies for most of us is they share the same trainer, right? They kind of like stable mates in a sense, right? You know what I mean? They 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 both have a common trainer in a Brian Bo Mac McIntyre, um, who has, in my opinion, done wonders for Chris Eubanks Jr., especially in his last performance. Um, now there has been some rumors. Now I'm I'm putting the air quotes on this rumors heavy because the source that it came from is some bullshit. Uh, but it, it, uh, according to these rumors, Bud Crawford didn't like how Chris Eubanks for some, I, I hate to even kind of repeat it because it sounds silly, but it's potentially some bad blood between uh, uh, Bud Crawford and Chris Eubanks because of the whole Bo Max situation with him getting locked up over there in, in uh, London. Um, and uh, he felt like Chris Eubanks Jr. and his team probably could have did more for Bo Mack, um instead of letting him sit in jail for the better part. I can't remember. Maybe it was two two months, maybe, if I can remember correctly. It's been a, so it's been a minute, man. I can't really remember. Um, and he felt some kind of way about that. Yeah. You know, you need something to sell this fight if this fight's going to happen. So, again, big rumor. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm just regurgitating what I've heard. Uh, but in order to sell fights, especially at this magnitude where Bud's going to command a certain amount of money, you need some kind of narrative. You need some kind of bad blood. And you can start there to say. Uh, but if this is, in fact, next... And again, putting up that poster that indicates some things, Bud hasn't confirmed anything. Uh, Chris Eubanks haven't confirmed anything, but this could be taking place. But Bud's got to go ahead and let those belts go. Because if he fights at 160, I just seriously doubt he comes back to 47. It really doesn't make any sense. And like I said, it's nobody at 47 who's willing, uh, who people, who who a promoter or somebody's going to will, be willing to invest the kind of money that Bud's going to be commanding to fight anybody at 47. Nobody has any clout. Nobody is clamoring to see anybody at 47 fight like that. All right. Those are relatively unknown guys. You have the up and comers and a boost and it's in a standing onus and several other names that most casual boxing fans in the U S or the UK even know. Right. Um, at one point, I thought it would be Connor Ben um, because I do believe he has a solid UK following as well. But that doesn't even appear to be the case. Um, so for Bud Crawford, it just makes sense to drop the bells. Don't hold these guys up any longer. Let it be some title fights going on at 47 so that division can kind of get hot again. And, and we can be talking about those guys making them run. All right. Bud Crawford, Chris Eubanks. Out of nowhere, you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. What is Bud and Chris Eubanks doing? Matter of fact, ultimately for Bud Crawford, what's the goal here? What do you get out of fighting Chris Eubanks at 160 pounds? That's all I got hey, for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. You know who I got with me, man. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.